All right, well, um, hey folks, we're back. Friends, relatives, family, people we don't know, uh, people we will probably never meet. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, we have for us today, you want to introduce or? Go ahead, take it this time. Uh, we have the uh, Shakespeare Oatmeal Stout from Rogue Breweries. It says World Stout Champion, not really sure if, I mean, what that? Yeah, it could be one of those things that anybody can pretty Probably not. I'm sure there's a competition or something about. Oh, I'm sure there is. I know there there is, but it's just yeah. like how do you? How many and what size of? What competition was it yeah. that they won? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That's from uh, Newport, Oregon. That's okay. sweet. Rogue Ales. Uh, obviously, it's privately owned because it's not Go. bottled anywhere else. So nope. Go West Coast. Yeah. Let's get into this. See, pre-game that. Found out how it worked. Isn't, it, isn't that good? Oh, that's. I didn't think I was gonna like an oatmeal stout. That smells. Oatmeal stouts heavenly. are actually closer to my favorites because of the smell, the color. They do tend to have a much darker head to them. Like mm -hmm. this is, mm -hmm. this is almost looks like coffee on that on the head. I don't know if you guys can see that that well, or how well that came out. Yeah, it's it's tends to be a much darker. They also tend to be more carbonated looking. Not a bad flavor from the glass. <laughs> I've made this mistake before. Made this, and there's that chocolate flavor that yeah. is in the descriptor. Yeah, there's, there's definitely. See, if I would have had to, if you had to say chocolate, I would have said coffee because I can taste. It feels like coffee grounds. Oh, and or, yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what I get as well. But in almost every beer descriptor I've ever had. When they say chocolate, right in the back of my head, I just go, they mean coffee. Yeah. They're just trying to make it sound sweeter. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a chocolate fan. I'm not a fan of any, anyways, I don't have enough blades or arms, or nor do I spin fast enough. But I don't like chocolate as a rule. I like white chocolate. My family knows this. They get me white chocolate things. It's great. Um, but I don't like coffee. And so I don't really associate those two things ever really together. Like, um, it's not. I, I hate coffee. Okay. I hate coffee. So the fact that this has a really strong coffee aftertaste just makes me want to keep drinking so that way I prolong the inevitable. <laughs> I never have to get to the aftertaste. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, but the initial, the initial taste that hits my palate, both in the glass and in the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Um, both in the glass and on the, and out of the bottle. Both good flavors. Yes, there's a difference. The openness of this glass, I feel, is affecting the flavor a little bit. Well, um, yeah, I mean, really, it will. The aeration I will. really need to go on Amazon and buy the glass set. Just a glass kit that has two of each. Yeah, type. and they're like uh, 20, 30 bucks. I don't know why I haven't done it. I, I don't know. Other than either. it's just it's not just been lazy. a thought. <laughs> yeah, it's just been lazy. It's not even that I haven't had the time because I stay up for hours at a time, usually just fiddle farting around on my computer doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's over on YouTube, and I'll watch my favorite guy for, like, three hours. Not doing anything else other than just relaxing in my chair like this, going, click. Now, who, who's your... Who's your current favorite um, pastime? 
Do you, do you have one that you, brings a note that you want to mention just for anybody? Uh, Jack Septic Okay. I, I know he doesn't need the plug from anybody. No. no. Because he, I think, just hit 12 million subscribers. Yeah, it's, it's something. It's something pretty ridiculous. But yeah, for that's that's currently the guy I go to to watch. Okay. Drives my wife up the wall. She can't stand his voice. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She cannot stand his voice. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Well, for me, when you first gave me the links to his stuff, I the first episode, actually the first couple episodes were really difficult for me to deal with because of just his, his volume just goes boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's just straight fucking lines. And yeah. it's never like a... Uh, rising intonation it's just when he's straight more up, straight down yeah it's it's usually when he's more curious about a topic or he's asking a question he'll do the the slight inquisitive lines but when he's he's usually either super hyped. excited to hype or just like dude that was heavy <laughs> <laughs> and there's fair, fairly nothing in between okay Deal. Now, out of curiosity, do you know why they call it an oatmeal stuff? And in what way they use oatmeal to make it? Is it the it's, there's, grain? No, there's it's actually the oatmeal uh -huh. in the worst. Hmm. Uh, brewing. Yes, you Can have. You please divine, because I'm murky. I'm sure there's some people who. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It, so let, me, let me back up and. and what's best, what's worst? No, let me back up and, and talk about brewing here first, the actual process of brewing. So, okay. during the brewing process, you have what's called your mash. Or you have you have your water base, it's usually some lake, river, or some spring water that you, you like. You never ever use tap water, because tap water typically contains chemicals of some form or another, and the mineral impurities from your your uh, your tap. I've been just, drinking it for years. What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> there's no lead in my water. <laughs> you hear that, Flint? Oh no. Uh, um. Whew. So, it's the mineral impurities from it going through the pipe usually, but the spring waters are all very consistent in their mineral sets, so you get a more consistent flavor. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then from there, once you add in your mash, which is your uh, boiled, or when you start boiling your your grains and your hops or whatever, okay, that's when you would add in oatmeal, okay, to your your flavor, and that's actually where they're getting, I think, their base flavor. It's hops and oatmeal base, or mostly for their mash, which is what they is that term for that portion of your your worst. And the worst is the brew before it's actually become a beer. It's that, it's what the substance hmm. is called, the liquid is called, while it's being brewed is a worst. Okay. <clears throat> and for those that are curious, the substance that is being brewed or crafted for mead or wines is called must. There's... Different terms. There's there's so many puns to the brewer's art that I'm just I'm twitching in my in my shoes and just I'm really enjoying this beer so far. Yeah, and even with the chalk, uh, the coffee aftertaste, it kind of mellows out as I drink it more. That that heavy flavor. I think it was because my palate was fairly blank to begin with. Mm -hmm. That coffee flavor just rolled across my tongue and because I didn't have anything else coating it. Yeah, I, mean, I I I'll I'll typically gravitate towards stouts personally, anyways. So I'm a little bit opinion biased by this one. Um, however, there, yeah, I mean, there's a few stouts that I've had in my yeah. two that were, if not palatable, then they were just like, okay, well, let's get through this, you know, four pack mm -hmm. or whatever, and just forget that we bought this, you know. So. Yeah. Oh, and because we have been mentioning the size capacity of each one of these containers that we've been buying these in, this also came in a four pack. I don't know why this has been the trend for us to only buy beers that are coming in four packs. 
Yeah, you weren't actually super thrilled. You almost didn't want me to pick this bottle. This this because of, I wanted to say the 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 name. Yeah, it, the name almost seemed to catch you on it. You were yeah. just you were like, oh, <laughs> Shakespeare oatmeal stout. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, it was it was really. Um, it's kind of a misnomer. Like if. And that's probably, again, something uh, 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 of about personal opinion, but we're talking about personal opinions. So I wouldn't even put oatmeal in the thing unless I was, like, and that's not a selling point to me. An oatmeal stout, I'm going to not oh, necessarily pick it. I think that's actually... Because I, I, all I think about oatmeal is cereal. Like, just... Yeah. I... I would have to try a couple stouts again. I do tend to gravitate towards stouts a little bit more. I can't remember if uh, the chocolate taste to a stout is a standard thing or not. Uh, it's I, not. It, it, okay, it really so is. It, you're gonna have um, you're gonna have either like a chocolate, um, a raisin, a coffee, um, even like some some. Sometimes you get a stout that's a lot like a um, IPA in the sense of that it's got just hops for days. Uh, yeah, it was just so bitter. It was a confused um, IPA or a confused <laughs> stout. Yeah, so yeah, you're gonna get not a vast level of variation in between on the finishes in different stouts because mm -hmm. ultimately they're always gonna end probably just due to how they're made and how they're structured. They're yeah. gonna end with maybe one of like seven or eight different tastes. Yeah, I I have tried a couple oatmeal stouts and I've noticed they all tend to end with the chocolate finish. Okay. I wonder if that has something to do with like how alkaline or acidic it has to be, or the, if they add it specifically for it because it's indicative of the type of, yeah. of drink. I have also noticed that uh, the body of a oatmeal tends to be a little heavier. Like the one we did last week, the Lucky Buddha, mm -hmm. that was really light on flavor. It floated in the mouth almost like you were just taking a drink out of a bottle of water. Just right. washed right over the tongue really quick. Uh, before that we did... Oh, we did the, um, what was that, Pilsner, was it? It was the... Okay, that was the Porter. That the was porter. the Porter. That, I keep thinking of P word in my... No, it was, it was the Porter okay. that we did. Yeah. Uh, and that one was a little heavier. It was... It was heavier. It, it's heavier than a, a, your standard wheat. Yeah. And then the Cellar House door... That was a s ale. Yeah, that was an ale, and that was a step below your the the porter that we did, but still heavier than the uh, the rice, mm -hmm. the rice beer. Mm -hmm. And My this, point. I would say, is heavier than the porter we did, mm -hmm. but not. I wouldn't say it's as heavy as Guinness. No, God, no, yeah, no, you can't, you can't, can't drink this with a spoon, um, which is how I call Guinness most of the time. Uh, have you tried it from the bottle? Yes, I have. To, okay. Yeah, there is, there is the flavor difference. Okay. And I like it both ways. In this case, it's not, it's not bad in in either form or fashion. It's, I've actually been trading off between the two. If you would like to try it from the glass, yeah, yeah. feel free to reach, reach on over and help yourself to that. the The scent is a little, yeah, different. Yeah, but by far. Well, you, you've got so much more area. Yeah, and it's had some time to uh, aerate from when I tried it initially. Oh yeah, yeah. It really. It really dumbs down the um, 
the start. It that, and that's that something first, I've, I've been intake. That's something I have been noticing consistently as we've been trying these. Is that when we put it in the glass, the the over I I almost want to say over aeration of the drink has been dumbing down the starts in the glass. And again, I want to say it's because we don't have the proper right glasses. That, that proper glass to drink from. And we may have to go back and re do a reshoot with at least that first beard, <laughs> that cellar door, Yeah. Um, with the proper glasses. We might just do that because we enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we, 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 we absolutely can. We absolutely can. All right, so is there anything in the in the concept of uh, an oatmeal stout that makes this stand out in particular versus the other oatmeal stouts that you've had? This particular one? Yes. I.e., what makes this stand out to you, if anything, as no, opposed it, it to the seems, other? It of seems a, it seems an awful lot to me, a lot like any of the other oatmeal stouts I've had. I would to give it a proper rating between them in my for my opinion and that's always a big thing for me when you're rating things is very opinion based i would need to try them all together so i could have little yeah so i could go okay yeah that one's not bad okay that one had this flavors and this one has this flavors and i i tend to lean more towards these flavor choices so to give it a truly fair rating on on oatmeal stouts, I would have to have them side by side. Okay. And have a way to properly cleanse my palate. Right. Hmm. Well, we still we still have to do the. Uh, we still might be able to do the um, tasting competition at some point. As my as my little lady. Uh, yeah. Mentioned. Yeah. She, your um. Your little lady, as you call her. <laughs> In so far as actually myself doing it, um, I may, I'd like to do like a small batch whiskey at one point or another, but we would need to get a still. Oh, we'd have to make a still, and that's yes. easier for me than it is for a lot of people. Uh, for reasons. <laughs> for reasons. For all the reasons. All right. All right. We'll go down to our our, our first questions as normal. And uh, would you buy this? And how far would you go to buy this? Um, would I go and buy this knowing it, now it's having a, a known quality to it? If I was looking for an oatmeal stout, yeah, I would probably, if I was walking through the aisles of my local liquor store, go, no, I'm not looking to really try anything new today. I know that. I like that. Or I know that. And it wasn't horrible. I'll pick that up because I always walk right past the Budweiser's Bud Lights Perimas right. and go straight to the the more top shelf beers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would I would go and buy this particular. So so it's an itch scratcher. Yeah. If I'm looking. Butt scratcher. <laughs> butt scratcher. <laughs> if I am it's looking. The butt shock. <laughs> <laughs> if I am looking for. A stout, I do tend to lean towards the oatmeals for whatever reason. Even though I don't like the finish on almost every single oatmeal stout I've had, <laughs> if I'm going for a stout, I tend to lean towards oatmeal stouts. I don't know why. I think it's the texture that hits my that rolls across the tongue. It's the texture. It's the the ba the the initial flavor wash that goes across. I enjoy all of that more so than I like. Or more so than I hate the finish. So yeah, I would go and buy this if I was going for a step. Uh, How far would you go again? That's. Would you go out of? I I don't know if I would go out of my way to get this particular uh, beer. Okay, say say you live like in one of those little podunk places around here, and you've got you know your corner stores, which have your corner stores oh, glasses okay. of beers. But you wanted this. Nearest beer stores, 
20, 20 minute drive. Would you I would go take the, that? Yeah, I five would, times out of ten? Yeah, I, I would do that because most little corner stores don't have what I'm looking for in the means of alcohol ever. We've got four loco, steel reserve. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going. I will take away. easily. Take that 20 minute drive to go to the liquor to go to a proper liquor store and pick up. Yeah, I would pick up this as a stout if I was going for a stout. Okay, awesome. All right, all right. Then we'll move on to uh, our second question. Would you? Use this beer to showcase or distinguish your t your taste, your opinions about beers with someone else, be it either a friend or a stranger. Um, I might, I might, just so that way I could show a friend what other beers there are out there. Because usually when I talk to a person about beer, they're like. Oh yeah, I love beer. And I'm like, okay. What beers do you drink? What beer what beer is it that tell me, Fred, <laughs> what beer is it that you drink? Ooh, this Miller High Life. Like, great. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like that's great for feeding my septic tank. <laughs> yeah. And that's about it. And, and then they just look at me with hate in their eye and I add another hate monger to my my tracker. <laughs> Okay. I go over to Tracker and I put another little tattoo on him. <laughs> right. Another notch, yeah. so to speak. Um, to a stranger, if I knew what they were looking for, I might. Mm -hmm. If they if they describe a flavor that they're missing in their, on their palate or they're, they're looking to try something different, I might reach for this one. Okay. In a conversation of stouts, yeah. this would be a stout card to play. Yes. Yes. All right. Lovely. Um... Oh, just like you're showing me what a stout lover loves stouts. Was turned off by oatmeal. You're like, well, we're, we're just going to try it. Not like I have a choice. So <laughs> would you, like you, you could have always tried to go, no, no, no. Let's, let's, let's lean over here more. And you could have tried to sway me. I, I, I could have. I could have. But then it would, wouldn't have been fair. I don't, I don't typically go for that. All right. Now, last but not least... Which kind of still ties in with the second question, but not necessarily. Would you take this beer to a group setting, a party, and or would you sell it in your establishment? Sell it at establishment, yes. I enjoy it. It's a good, it is a good stout. It's yeah. kind of off the, to the side of your stouts. It's not a more popular one. So I would be more inclined to sell it at an establishment because kind of the person I am. I like, I like the things just slightly off. I can see the path from here, but I'm over here. here. <laughs> yeah. I like to know where the path is. I like to be able to see it in my peripherals, but I just want to be off of it just a little bit. I can, I can, I can get that. Um, would I bring it to a party? Probably not. Just because of the size capacity that it's sold in. It's sold in a pack of four. I don't know if that's Five. Five. because of what we had stated earlier, the capacity of the brewing company, the ability to ship out of whatever state, whether or not it's because of the state we're in only allows certain alcohol percentages to be sold at however many containers in a package, whatever the reasoning is. Mm -hmm. Or it's just a marketing ploy. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. All four of those are absolutely viable reasons. More than likely, it's more than one, if, if truth comes to push. Yeah. I would probably have it in my house mm -hmm. if I were to be hosting a party and just have this as one of those beers that I had stated in one of the previous episodes, just down and back a ways. Behind <laughs> the expired milk and... No, 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 no. Nothing quite that, that devious. That's <laughs> for my... My absolute favorite. <laughs> all in all, I want to say um, good job, Rogue Ales from uh, Newport, Oregon. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, changed my mind about things that are of the oatmeal persuasion. <laughs> not, not sure how that makes you feel in the soul, does it? 
I'm suddenly okay with a with a grain or it's a with a cereal. I don't know what's going on. Um, but uh, awesome, yeah. Thanks. And uh, enjoy, guys. Yeah. See you next time. Cheers.